Today I'm working on a 96 Ford Bronco. And the problem is my distributor is acting up. So rather than try to get inside of it and figure out what's going on, I'm just gonna put a new one in. They're relatively inexpensive and uh, they're not that hard to do. The tools you need for this job are going to be flat blade screwdriver, and a half inch wrench. You can also use a knife, but I'm gonna use a Sharpie marker. First thing we do is take off the hose between the intake and the air box. And it should pop right off. You'll have another hose that goes to your oil filler. And this, by the way, works for any Ford with a 351 Windsor in this day range. And you can just pull this up and out of the way. Now you can clearly see we're right at the distributor. Here on the distributor, we're gonna have a little plug right there. And that plug has a little plastic detent. Push in and pull. And yes, I am getting rained on as I'm shooting this, so if I make some mistakes or go a little fast, you'll know why. There we go. And the distributor cap is just a couple of spring-loaded clips. One there, and one back there. When you pull the distributor cap up, it is important to note where the distributor is pointing so you can get a good idea of where to point the new one. Now I've got a couple of, of um, spark plug wires back here that are really tight. So in order to facilitate, and I know where they go, I'm gonna pull these off and lay them to the side so I can move my distributor cap out of the way. So I'm gonna take my permanent marker. I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna draw a line right here. That's where my distributor is at. Well, it's bolted down tight and the timing is on. And then I'm gonna take the half inch wrench, go down here at the base of the distributor and loosen a half inch headed bolt. You wanna go ahead and remove that all the way. I'll show you what that little hold down looks like. Thank you, hon. My amazing wife just brought out an umbrella. So this, this is your hold down. This is the bolt. It's half inch you'll need the wrench for. All right, and then we begin to give a little twist and pull action here. And you'll notice that the, ro the um, rotor turned as I pulled upward. See that? Wherever the rotor stops turning, I wanna make another mark with my permanent marker. And I'm gonna make two marks because that is the final point it was pointing at. Also wanna note that and you can use your marker to help you do this. You see where my wiring harness is? It's pointing this direction to my belt. I can draw a straight line over to my belt to help me place that new one. When you pull this up, be very careful because the oil pump is driven off of a shaft at the bottom. We don't wanna pull that up with it. All right, there's our old troublesome distributor. And here is our brand new one. And yes, you can get this complete with a cap and rotor. We wanna put a little bit of lubricant on this O-ring so we don't chafe it and cut it when we're putting it back in and grease this little gear here. And we'll install this new uh, distributor cap another time. Our distributor cap is fine. But what you wanna do is pop these little tabs and pull this guy off. And you'll see this one comes with a brand new rotor. And if you'll remember, we made some marks on the old one, right? So we're gonna turn this one to where it's facing the exact same direction as the old one. You see that? Where initial mark is and where second mark is, I'm gonna line that up as best I can so that when I put this in, it's roughly close to being on time. Our end time. And in we go.
All right. Now that we've got the new one in place, we can go ahead and replace the keeper. But don't tighten it down. You'll hear why here in just a second. I should note that it's helpful to snug that little bolt just a little bit. And that allows you to move your distributor without it floating back into a different position once you get the timing where you're happy. Don't forget to plug your wiring harness back in. Should hear a little snap. And replace your distributor cap. And since this cap and rotor that I have over here came with, it came together, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and put my old one back in for a later date so we can replace it as a pair. Alright, cap back on. Don't forget to put the plug wire back in place. Or plug wires, actually. Make sure everything is clear, you've removed your tools, and we'll give it a whirl. It's a pretty Bronco, but you can't work on one in the rain, not like that. So we had to take a break. We'll finish it up here in a bit. And through the magic of a little bit of adjustment, we're gonna give this thing a try. Honey, go ahead. get her all buttoned up and life will be good with the 96 Bronco. Well, that'll wrap it up for this video. I hope it helps somebody who has one of these older Fords. Can't beat the old 5.8. And uh, if you can think of anything I, sh I should have said in the video, thing that I missed, uh, especially all you senior mechanics who really know what you're talking about, feel free to drop it in the comments and uh, y'all have a blessed day. Thank you.